Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grunt Theft Auto 5 video, I'm gonna be doing another Q&A video where I take your questions from Twitter and I answer them all in this video. Now in today's Q&A video, we are purely focusing on questions regarding the latest Grand Theft Auto Online DLC that actually came out last Thursday. I call it Benny's Mini DLC since it really only added two cars to Benny's motor work uh, and also the upcoming Valentine's Day DLC which is set to drop sometime in February. Now before we get started this video is sponsored by GameState which is a collaboration between ex-Blizzard developers and Lenovo Gaming to create the ultimate tower defense game and now it's time for Mission 3 Live or Die. Now your challenge in all of this is to get your own weapon design featured in the game. It's really cool. After you've uploaded your weapon artwork you can earn your mission 3 badge by clicking on the share button to spread the word about game state and the top 10 submissions with the most upvotes are going to be evaluated by dark rift and once mission 3 is complete they'll announce the winner's name that will ultimately get their weapon in the game now if you're not a photoshop whiz like me don't sweat it you have your own way of taking on mission 3 lenovo's created the live or die weapon generator and you can try your hands at some of the designs and figure out which weapon combination ultimately speaks to you now to get started, head over to LenovoGameState.com, click on the Mission 3 tile, and from there, that's where you're actually going to upload your artwork. And once it's uploaded, be sure to get everyone you know to upvote your work. Click share on Facebook and Twitter to spread the word using GameState, and also check out some of the awesome gear they're going to be giving away, like a Lenovo Game Surround sound headset and microphone. It's pretty awesome. All right, so let's not waste any more time and let's jump into the first question, which comes from Ace Minx HD. He says, do you think there will be any surprises in the Valentine's Day DLC? So the DLC itself is supposed to be a surprise, but I think he's actually talking about Rockstar adding surprise content that we haven't seen so far. And basically what we've seen so far is the new vehicle, the Roosevelt Valor, and also some of the new clothing items. That's pretty much it. So other than that, I'm really not too sure. I don't know if you mean like getting a gift on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is also on a Sunday. I believe it's February 14th. So who knows? I know we got Christmas Day gifts, but I'm not sure about Valentine's Day gifts. I know I gave out gifts for Valentine's Day when I was in elementary school, but it's certainly something I don't do just for everyday people on Valentine's Day. So I'm not sure... I think the surprise part of this DLC was more for the two cars we were able to add in Benny's original MotorWorks. So I think what we're gonna be getting for the Valentine's Day DLC is really just gonna be the clothing and also the new vehicle, the Roosevelt Valor. As much as I'd like to see new content in a surprise sort of way, I just don't see it happening. All right, so up next, we've got two questions that tie in really nicely together, so I'm gonna answer them back to back. Our first one comes from Daniel Rivera. He says, do you think old gen will get the old Valentine's Day DLC from 2014? Hashtag ask boss. And we've also got another question from William Graham. He says, ask boss, do you think the Gusenberg sweeper and all the clothing and masks from the old Valentine's DLC will return again? Now to answer your first question, or the first question I should say, regarding old generation getting the Valentine's Day DLC content from 2014, my prediction is yes, because of what happened with the festive surprise 2015. Basically, if you had forgotten or didn't know, the old generation got all the content from the Festive Surprise 2014. So all the old clothing, all the new masks and whatnot, uh, and also the snow was available on last generation. So I would imagine for the Valentine's Day DLC this year that old generation will get the old Albany Roosevelt be available to be purchased. Also the new masks or the old masks, I should say, and the old clothing. So I think those three things, as well as the Gusenberg Sweeper, are going to be available for last gen. And I also think that those items are going to be available for next generation as well. I think that Rockstar is going to port over the Gusenberg Sweeper, as well as the masks and clothing also that we originally got in 2014, which would be awesome because I know there's a lot of guys that weren't playing Grand Theft Auto V in early 2014, or they just might not have been around when that original Valentine's Day DLC came out. I know tons of people that don't own the original Roosevelt or the Gusenberg Sweeper, so I know this would be a great opportunity for lots of people to jump in on that and uh, get to partake in some old but still epic Valentine's Day content. So yes, I'm absolutely looking forward to that, and I do believe it will be coming out on old generation as well as the old content coming for new generation. 
All right, so this next question I got asked a bunch. I'm only going to include one question because I got asked so many times. It comes from Petey Pan Mofo, actually my good friend. He says, hashtag ask boss, what other cars do you think they, and by they, I guess he means Rockstar, will let us customize in Benny's garage? That's right. This update has kind of seemed to bridge the gap between what cars can come in Benny's Original Motorworks. For the longest time, it was the stigma that Benny's Original Motorworks was low riders only, but this kind of Benny Benny's mini update kind of proved that now sports cars can go in Benny's Original Motorworks. So if we're just going off of only sports cars can now be added, I'd definitely like to see a few. One of them is the Futo. Another one is the Comet. I'd also like to see the Elegy RH8. Those are just sports cars. I mean, who knows what else Rockstar might add going forward in terms of vehicles that they will ultimately allow to go into Benny's Motorworks. I'd love to see sedans and compact cars. They would be great as kind of Benny's upgrades in terms of what you could do. But yeah, I'm really not too sure. All I know is this DLC really bridged the gap between Lowriders and Benny's Garage and what other cars can go in there. So I know people are saying like, man, it's only two cars, but this might be the start of something bigger and better for Rockstar going down the line. So yes, I do anticipate more cars being able to be customized in Benny's. I'm just not sure and if when that will happen. Our next question comes from pr 4 9 and they say, what are things you hate about the DLC released yesterday? Hashtag ask boss. Now, hate is a strong word. I typically never like to use that. There are a few things I'm slightly disappointed in, and that is overall the performance of the new supercars. I say that in air quotes themselves. Um, if you guys watched my video the other day, and if you watch Bruffy's videos, you'll know that the supercars that like were created in Benny's original Motorworks are not that good. In fact, the regular version of the Banshee is better than the super version that you create in Benny's original motor works so i think that they're personally classed wrong i think that they should still be classed in the sports car category so i'm not entirely sure what rockstar was thinking there, trying to get it in the supercar category and really the only thing else i'm disappointed in is there isn't more epic cars to customize i was like man we only got two vehicles what the heck uh, but other than that i really like everything else i love the adversary mode i love this event weekend we got going on right now so I'm just having a lot of fun with it. There isn't a lot to complain about, just some minute details that I wish Rockstar would have changed up a little bit. Our next question comes from Garrett, and he says, do you think Rockstar is putting out random small updates to hold us off for a big one in February? Hashtag ask boss. Now, Garrett, I don't think you're wrong. I just don't think you've got the right month. I think that the update we're getting right now, this Benny's mini update, I should probably copyright that or trademark that because it's really catchy. Uh, but either way, I think that this Benny's mini update that we got with the two cars is a small update to hold us over to something big, maybe not coming in February, but certainly March or April. Now, you can obviously get into whatever speculation you want, whether it's single player update or something big like Lowriders Part 2, but I certainly think this surprise DLC we got that's paired with Valentine's Day content wasn't by mistake, and I think it was to hold us off uh, to whatever they're doing next. Maybe Rockstar needs more time to develop whatever project or cycle they're working on next, and honestly, I'm not going to complain. I had a really good time the other day customizing these cars, and I can see myself having a lot of fun with future cars like that going forward. So yeah, I think Rockstar's up to something. Do I think it's going to happen in February? No, but March and April, I'd be on the lookout. Our next question comes from CM Clunk. He says, hashtag ask boss. Do you think the new Roosevelt is overpriced compared to the old one based on the customization options we have seen? So he's talking about the new Roosevelt Valor, which comes at at a price of $982,000. The original Roosevelt is only $750,000. And honestly, with the customization I've seen, I think it's worth the extra price upgrade. Now, performance has a big part in the, of that, and we obviously won't know until we get the car itself. But I do certainly believe that the price is justified Although, albeit pretty expensive price based on the customization that we're going to get. And also, this car is probably going to be a limited time thing. That's a great segue into our next question from Golden Gamer, who basically says, do you think that the content will be out only for a certain amount of time? And yeah, I think the content will definitely be limited, whereas you'll only have a limited amount of time to purchase it before it goes away. 
Now, if you purchase the new Roosevelt Valor, it's not going to go away, but you'll only have a limited amount of time to buy it. So you need to jump on this before it is gone forever. And our last question comes from Katie Wolf Plays, and they say, do you think that we could be in the swing of the beginnings of a tuner slash street racer DLC with today's update? Hashtag ask boss. He's talking about, of course, the DLC that came out on Thursday. And yeah, like I mentioned with some of the other questions, I really do think that this is a, a nice gateway into what Rockstar could possibly do next with Benny's original Motorworks in terms of tuner themes, street racer themes, rally themes, ricer themes, whatever you want to call it. I think that what Rockstar has done is a great opportunity to uh, build on some really cool themes that they might have forward going for DLCs. So the future is bright for Grand Theft Auto Online. I'm certainly excited, and uh, I'm really anxious to see what Rockstar has next up their sleeve. But anyways, that's all the information that I'm going to be talking about for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on the video. That would be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.